Hey everybody, Jared Poland here. So it's a very, very exciting day. Um, you know when you you know you get that box in the mail and and you're really excited to open it up. Well, I'm going going to unbox something that I'm really excited about. Um, I've already cut open the box just so you know, but I haven't taken anything out yet because uh, I want to show everybody what is in there. Um, I will explain why a little later. Maybe not in this video, but I have a new camera and I'm really excited about it. So here we go. Let's open it up and see what we have. All right. There's bubble wrap. Uh, hopefully that doesn't mess anything up. Um, interesting. So we have a Nikon box that's gray. Now I bought a refurb camera. Uh, I've never bought a refurb camera before, so I've never seen a gray box before. It says, this product has been reconditioned to Nikon factory specifications by Nikon Inc. and is covered by a 90-day limited warranty. Interesting. Gray box. Hard to open. Let's smell it. Hmm. Hard to put a nose on this one. 2006 Chardonnay Troussin. No, not. Honestly, there's not much of a smell to it, so it's hard to really put a color. I'd, I'd say gray, but really it's kind of neutral, so maybe beige. Yeah, yeah, it's got a beige smell to it. Alright, opening the box. User's guide. CD and stuff. Let's take the camera out, which is, uh, this is the inside of the box. Now we're going to see what I bought and why I'm really excited. Interesting. This is the warranty card. It's handwritten. Never seen one of those before. Handwritten with a serial number. With the camera model on it. So, you know I have a D3S. What could be in this box? D3X maybe? No. No. Guess what it is? It is a Nikon D3000. Yeah, that's right. My new camera is a Nikon D3000. No, I have not gotten rid of my old camera. I will not be getting rid of it. I got this for a reason. Um, looks really clean to me. I don't like that. Who knows why? Looks like the flash is not fully seated, but that's probably normal with all of them. I'll check it out with some other ones. And um, what else is in this box? So, you get a nice Nikon strap, which looks just like the one on my D3S. Batteries, chargers, cables. The normal. It's noisy out. Who's cutting my lawn? Stop cutting my lawn. I'll close the window so you can't hear the guy. Anyway, so I picked up a D3000. Really excited about it. That's the unboxing. Um, I don't want to tell you why yet. Okay? I want to tell you why when I launch the thefronosephoto.com in the next couple weeks, I w I'm going to talk to you about a project. I can tell you that much. It's a project that I'm working on that involves the D3000. But I'm really excited to play with this thing. Uh, I picked up a lens for it which I'll unbox later it's the uh, 35 1.8 it's a $200 lens for God's sake you know this setup right here this was 299 this was 199 to get started that's not a bad way to go so you know d3000 unboxed my new camera hope you uh, hope you found that interesting um, let's smell the camera because I didn't smell the camera yet Smells like fortune cookies. No, not because it's made in China, but because I just had fortune cookies with my lunch. Really? Um, so, that's why. Yeah, interesting. I'll play with it. We'll see what we think of a refurbished camera. I'll see how, I don't even know why it would be refurbished. What is a refurbished camera? From what I've always been told, 
is that it's maybe overstocked that never sold or there was a dented box or something like that and uh, say that somebody like Dell buys a thousand cameras and they only sell 800 of them 200 of them math lesson right there go back to Nikon now they can't sell them as new because they've been sitting on a shelf for for that long so they look them over recondition it uh, and then put it in a box and sell it to certain companies. I bought this one at Adorama um, because it was a great deal. Got it without the lens because I didn't want the 18 to 55 because it's shite. It's good for certain things, but not for what I'm looking to do with it. Uh, and um, I also know that Canon does refurbished equipment because uh, Alan's Camera, the place where I used to work and where I currently buy all of my pro equipment, uh, gets in refurbs from from Canon now refurb like 70 to 200 VR is t something like $1,200. You know, you're saving five, $600 on this stuff. Uh, I'd buy a refurb piece of glass any day. I buy a lot of used glass because it's awesome. You can't go wrong with it. So, you know, refurbs, body's a little different. I'll see, I've never bought one, but at 299, I couldn't pass it up uh, for, the, for the project that I'm gonna be taking part on that I'll tell you about another time. So that's that, keep it up, keep it real. Jared here saying, uh, boom, I'm out.